Mm, yes, hello and welcome to the second lecture of uh, 3D Studio Max. This is basically lecture uh, 1.5. <laughs> Uh, this uh, this uh, lesson will cover a little bit more, a uh, um, few more commands, and we will be drawing this drawing. So, uh, as always, you can find the link to this down below. Uh, we will have a fillet command, additionally, we will learn the extend command and the chamfer command, uh, and how to make these lines dash. Uh, so, I'll be drawing the drawing with you from the basic. Let me put this aside. <coughs> Alright. So, File, new, don't touch anything, open, units, enter, decimal, zero, zero, this is our beginning dance. Of course, after a while you can make a template for yourself and you don't have to do this uh, every time you open the new AutoCAD file. Alright, now, limits. 0, 0. For this drawing is also uh, 3000, 2000 looks okay. Middle mouse button double click or Z enter, E enter or Z enter. Select extend from here down below. Now we are in our limits. Defining the grid 100, 100. Okay layers for this drawing we will have a layer wall i'll leave it white we will have a layer axis i'll change this one to red i will make the layer wall thickness a little bit more because uh, i want you to be able to see it you don't uh, you don't change it for now the line weight i want you to be able to see it so i'm changing it to uh, 3.5 you don't do this step uh, we will have uh, openings. Usually you can separate between uh, doors and windows. Uh, openings. Let's put openings. Usually uh, magenta. Good color for openings. What else do we have? Yes, we have furniture. So for today's lesson we'll have four layers. Furniture. Furniture always, I mean, most of the time goes with yellow. Uh, Alright, so I close this. Layer properties from up here, or you type layer. Now, I turn, I press F9 to snap to grid. Then I will start drawing my first line. Somewhere here. Uh, let's see how big this is. Again, I think 1500 will do. Uh, I forgot to go to my layer, so I change the line. I go, I make it axis. Then I should make my active layer axis now. Offset 300. All the axes, uh, vertical axes, are 300. One, two, three, four, and five. I'll do the other axis. So I draw first one line and then offset 300. It's already 300. One, two, three. Offset. The last axis 200. Okay. I press F9 to turn off the snap to grid. Now I want to make this uh, dash dot line. And the way to do that, you have to go and define your uh, line type. Again, go to layer properties. Uh, here you see the line type. It's on continuous, which is a straight continuous line. You click on it. You can't see anything else. You have to press low. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, I mean, there are different standards. Some countries, they have their own kind of line type standards. Uh, press OK. Close this. So now you see it is changed to the... Uh, dash dot line that we wanted, but it's too uh, too uh, like too close to each other. So we want to change this. So uh, there are many ways of doing that. You can select a line, press CH. This properties box will appear, and then you can change the individual line. 
I'll get to that later so you can do it individually and have more control over them. For today, I want you to learn the line type skill, which is generally changing the all line type skills in the drawing. So the as the name suggests, the short key, the hotkey for it is LTS, line type skill, LTS. It's one. Let's make it half, see how it works. It makes it actually smaller. So LTS. Let's make it double two. LTS. Again, enter. Let's go for five. Ah, oh, five looks okay. So learn to work with LTS. LTS changes all line type scales in the scene. We usually don't do it unless we're printing for different scales. Uh, but for today's lesson, go with line type scale. Next lesson, I will show you how to make the individual and match it with the others. Uh, it have more control over it. So we have our axes now. Uh, they look okay. Now I go to my uh, layer wall. Again, ML, enter. First justification, I put it to zero scale. This time our wall thickness is 25. I think it's 25. Yes, it's 25. Uh, I have to follow the drawing as well. So I go over it. For now, ignore the characters. Just imagine as if they are corners. Uh, like this. Go here. Two over here, one down. Press C to close. Press Enter to multi-line again. Let's start from here, all the way to here. Let's start from here to here. We have two. Uh, we have an internal wall here. Again, ML Enter. I want to change the scale because the internal wall is ten. It's basically a partition. So I will be fixing uh, the rest of it later on from the middle. Uh, lower. If your midpoint is not on, I mentioned it last time, you right click on the snap uh, properties down here and turn on their midpoint. It's very useful one to have on. Uh, don't turn all of this on. For example, this nearest or the parallel, these are evils. These are hidden evils in AutoCAD. You never want to turn them on unless you absolutely need to. You're working with some SP line project. You need, you absolutely need nearest. Um, you turn it on, but often you turn it off. Parallel, nearest, evil stuff. Never use it. Even intersection. In, even insertion. Yeah, sorry. Okay, now everything seems to be okay. I select everything with the blue screen because I don't want to. It doesn't matter if I pick axes, but usually when you explode objects, you want to be crystal clear what are you exploding. So I'm selecting this. X enter. Now I'll go around for the openings. Uh, first one uh, here. You can do it like this, but today I want to. I want you to learn new command. It's extend. It is the opposite of trim. Extend and trim go together very well. Uh, so in, you you you're using both uh, interchange uh, as like interchanging uh, commands. So E X enter enter. Just like trim, you can give it a target, or you can do it uh, with double enter, which is extend to all. Everything which is inside will be uh, used for the extent. All right. Uh, so 275 offset. Offset 25. Let's trim this. Let's lock layer access. Let's trim this. Offset 275. Let's trim this. Okay. Uh, sorry if there is some noise. Uh, my kid is watching or uh, my wife is watching something in the other room. Uh, so you'll have a 300 here. First, let's uh, have a line here. Offset 300. There is one line here. Let's extend this. You want to have as little lines as possible, like try to keep your number of lines minimum, so don't draw excess lines if possible. 
uh, one of the ways in the old times that they were uh, actually uh, judging our AutoCAD files was uh, based on the size. So they were open like all the drawing and see who could draw it with a smaller uh, file size because that meant they were so uh, uh, there were as little excess lines as possible. Offset a hundred. Of course, this was back in the day when computer memory was something very scarce, like you had to take care of that. Now today, you don't actually need to be that careful. Uh, something that I forgot to mention, and it's a very important thing, I made a very big mistake. I didn't save the file yet. So you always want to save the file first, because if you don't save it, let me give it a CW 1.5, my name my surname uh, and if you have student number if you're sending it to me please mention your student number because if you save it uh, if something goes wrong if your uh, computer crashes it will make a recovery you will lose you will lose like five minutes of work at most uh, but if you don't save it it will not make any recovery and you'll have to do everything again so always save when you first thing you open the file I wanted to mention this last time but I forgot you open the file, you save it. This is like the, the basic stuff that you want to do. All right, so I have an 80 centimeter door here. I draw a line, move it 80 up. I exploded the multi-line. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. You cannot work with multi-line directly. You have to explode it. You have to select everything exploded. Sorry, my computer is very old if it's keep uh, jumping up and down. Uh, okay, offset 133. Uh, it's basically, yeah, it's basically this line. Trim, trim. This looks okay. We will have a door here, 100, offset 100, trim with target, trim TR, enter, enter. I remove this one, 315. Uh, remember that you don't always have a drawing like this, so you have like we're working on a project, it's your own project, you have to make your own judgment call because basically if you're an architecture student you should be aware of how big your windows are or uh, how will it look in the elevation. I'm giving you a sample drawing here, but uh, you have to make your own calls sometimes. Uh, so don't like, if there is a missing dimension, just try to come up with something. Then offset 65 then offset 110 trim 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 let's see what else uh, there is one more here 275 move this 275 extend x inter inter Trim inter inter. Uh, so everything looks to be okay. Now uh, we want to do these uh, columns. We already have one here, 25 by 25. Uh, I just copy this, CO. I pick it from center and copy it into destination. Here, here. One more here and one more here. Uh, all right then. Now we will deal with the curves. With the curves, we will use this new command called fillet. F enter. Uh, first, let me show you what fillet does. So you have two lines. You want to know where they reach each other because there is no way easily that you can find it out. And you have to pick them up, or extend them by hand, and then see if they go together. So if you want to see where two lines uh, reach each other, uh, you use fillet. F enter. Pick the first line, pick the second line. They go together. Bam. One, two, fillet. Pick the first line, pick the second line. Pick the first line. Now, if I want to do it with these two, 
if I want to do it with these two, pick the first line, pick the second line, and you see how where it goes. So the other the uh, fillet is a very complicated command. I'll cover two parts of it today. So is the fillet uh, basically radius zero? So if you want to have a fillet uh, radius with uh, give it a certain radius, you click on radius and then you give it a dimension. You can type the dimension. Here we have the dimension, or you can read the dimension from the seed. For example, if you know that this is your dimension, 200 between those axes. Uh, I think uh, they can they can't do it because they are not they are really close and not possible. Okay, fillet. All right, so it was not possible because it was the small the distance between the line were smaller than the radius that we picked. So you see what, where it, what it does now. I'm reading the plan. Uh, you have to be careful that you're reading an exterior and interior line here. For this curve, I put an uh, exterior line of 200, so I press F enter. I pick radius from here, or I press F enter, R enter. Then I, pit, uh, then I put the dimension in, 200. Exterior, pick first line, pick second line. We don't fillet the second internal wall, because the radius changes. And if I do it here, uh, please have a look. It looks a little bit, uh, you know, fat in the middle. You don't want it like that. You want it to be uh, smooth. So I'm offsetting the same fillet line, 25 in, trim, rid of this, get rid of that. All right. So I'll do it here now. Here we have the internal dimension, fillet F inter, radius or R inter, mm, 250. Internal line to internal line, offset 25 out trim target enter from here here now uh, everything's okay let's go for the furniture and then windows so I'm changing my active layer to furniture let me make this so you can see it better so my, my active layer is furniture now offset uh, the cabinets are often 60 centimeter uh, I offset the wall and I put this in furniture uh, let's see, furniture. Thinner. Okay. Offset. So I want to have some lines before I actually. Uh, I want to have all the lines of my uh, kitchen, basically. Then I'll have one here. Then I offset this 60. Uh, then I'll draw one here. Now. I have all the lines. Let me just let me just put these changed lines into the proper layer. You can use match properties if you know how to. I'll show you later on. That's a le another lesson. Okay. Now I have all these lines. These are basically forming my kitchen. So how do I connect them again with fillet radius? But I want zero now. I want it to be uh, sharp corners. So now I pick this and this. I pick this. And this, I pick this, and this, and then I finish it with this line, and I finish it here with this line, and then again, fillet, this, and this. Uh, so now I have this corner. Uh, this here, uh, we use a command called chamfer. You can point all of these commands up here in the ribbon as well. So I'm CHA for chamfer, or you can just come here and pick it from here. So it's good to know where they are actually. So CHA, it has many options. You want to go with distance now. So as I said, for all kind of distance, first you give the X distance, uh, the horizontal distance, and then you give the vertical distance, the Y distance. Uh, so here, if you, if you check the map, the X is 200, so I'm pressing 200 enter. Then uh, the Y distance, 100 enter. Uh, then I select the two line, just like the left. one line, two line. Offset 60 is already there. Let's fill it this. Yes, okay. Now kitchen is ready. Let's move on to the windows. I'll first make a very small, win a simple window. We have two types of window details. You can find it uh, at the bottom of the page that you may find uh, in the description down below. So I change my layer to openings. Uh, first, one line here, then uh, 
goes like this, like this, five, 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 yeah, yeah. Then offset, five, once, twice. Then we have a frame here. So I'm using, you can, you can always, you can use uh, offset or you can use a rectangle, doesn't matter. But I'm going for offset now. Trim here. Trim, trim here. I'm repeating it. You can mirror it. I'll show you how to do that later. Five. Offset here. Trim, trim. The middle part. And then you have a piece of glass here in the middle. Uh, you have to find the middle part of this. So you may draw a line here. Draw the glass. Or you can offset line 2.5. I like yeah, there are many ways now I want to I want to copy this window but I don't want to copy the underlying wall lines as well to do uh, to put lines on top of line on top of line so for a moment I uh, I lock my wall layer I pick the window CO for copy I pick it from this corner and I give it a destination here we have one more small window here uh, Yes, we have one more small window here. I put it here. Now, this is a new command. We have to rotate this. So, I select the object. Press R, O for rotate. R, O, enter. You have to give it this, an origin. Around which point? Around what point do you want to rotate? So, around this point. And you can just give it a dimension. Or you can just type in the dimension. Like, if you want it 90 degree, you want to have 90 degree. Uh, if you're going actually uh, counterclockwise, if you go clockwise, you have to go 270. Uh, you'll get used to it. You can actually do it by instinct if your polar tracking is on or your ortho is on. I'm just moving this here. I'll copy it here. What I used to do when I was doing actually uh, architecture school, I used to I used to have a kind of a door window inventory for my, uh, for myself. So I would put this here, and then I would like uh, make a copy. Uh, I would rotate this, uh, put it like this, and then I will put uh, all of this mirror. You'll you'll know how to mirror it later. So uh, and then I would even mirror these to have everything in the other side if they were, if they had uh, more details. So I would have a door window inventory, so I don't have I didn't have to rotate it every time I, I wanted to put something there. If I had three di ty different types of windows or doors, I would have them all ready beside the drawing. Uh, it would it would increase your speed, especially if you're working in a larger project. So these are my small windows. Let's go for the bigger windows. I'll start the first one here. Same logic, but the detail is a little bit more complicated. Uh, five. Let's say five. Let's say five here, here, here. Offset five, one, two. Then here, offset uh, five, one, two. Trim. Uh, let me see. Okay. Here we don't. We have this one, and we have this one. Let's do it the other way. Offset 5, 1, 2, trim the excess part. Here the detail goes like this. We still have this, but it's the other way around. So once here, because this is uh, this is basically a fixed window, this is a sliding window. So I'll get the middle part. Offset 2.5 on the left and right. Remove this. Uh, so we'll have, yeah, we'll have it exactly like this. So this portion of the window will slide here. This portion will slide here. Now we have the window ready. Let me uh, pick it by the uh, blue window. Copy here, here for this particular window because it reaches the wall. We have to uh, we have to remove the excess part. And just let's push this up here okay now we have one more here 
and one more down there repeating the same let's copy this put it here 90 degree move here uh, this is a bit longer so I pick everything with the blue window I pick this uh, end part there is a command called stretch but it's a little bit too complicated for now I just want you to do the simple command if you know how to do stretch do stretch by all means uh, this 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 and this and this yes so this is fine let me do the other one copy here select rotate select move into the location yes and we are uh, basically done for today let me remove this uh, double click middle mouse button to bring everything to the center uh, and we're ready uh, the homework for this is uh, for you to try to do the doors by yourself there is a command called arc you can try it uh, and there is a command called text so you can write in the kitchen kitchen and you can write in the like the room room or the uh, living room living room uh, your vet core wc something like that uh, thank you very much i hope that you enjoyed this lesson this is 1.5 uh, it's just a repetition extra practice it goes together with lesson one uh, lesson one had a uh, homework you can repeat it with this one as well which is uh, basically drawing an elevation because we will be covering some elevation and section later down the road but uh, it's very it's very good for you if you can get some practice create one layer uh, for the elevation or you can have layers with different line thicknesses because in elevation you want to show which part is closer which part is more further away so you want to have like maybe you have elevation uh, in three different levels actually elevation one two three with three different kind of line thicknesses that shows you like uh, how far away they are objects are uh, you want, to, you want to show the more dominant ones a little bit thicker. Uh, line thickness is a very important part of uh, AutoCAD. We will get to it when we get to the printouts. Uh, let me actually finish this uh, part. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Please like. Uh, goodbye.